Welcome back to Twilight Princess. We're still not to the next temple just yet. We've got one more part of just a lot of exploration and another side story we need to take care of. And we're keeping the pretty fish lady waiting. Who you mean me? No. <laughs> no. You don't have a son. The problem is the temple is the lake bed temple, as in it's on the lake bed and we can't get down there. Still contemplating my birth. Hmm? What is that thing to his right? Is it's like a puppet show? It's like a carousel organ. Oh, okay. <laughs> You'll see it in action soon enough. It kind of reminds me of the Deku tuba from Majora's Mask. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> While I have tried Ocarina of Time, I have not played Majora's Mask at all. It looks very intimidating to try. Hmm. Special Repairs is for two things later in the game. Oh, it was a trap. Now oh, he's losing it. I am confused. Are you ready, Jacob? I'm ready to puke. <laughs> Splat. What? Is that all it did? Yep, just launches you up here. Wow. I'll get a shot of the desert. Ooh. Very scenic. I'd like to live here. On this balcony, specifically. <laughs> yeah, outside. <laughs> I'll just sneak into this lady's house, steal all of her hot chocolate. Well, thanks for reminding us, Bidna. It was a whole part ago. Yeah, normally I'd be annoyed at her railroading me like this, but also it's been so long, the reminder is kind of nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we recorded the last episode four years ago. It's not true. Look at this fella. Have a chicken. I was bored by force! And we're leaving. Why the fuck not? You know, if this wasn't a Zelda game, <laughs> this would be extremely dangerous. <laughs> oh yeah, give me 20 bucks and I'll have you skydive with a chicken so you can maybe get <laughs> some more money back. If you die, oh well. This poor chicken, when you land, its family is going to destroyify you. Not if we land on the Island of Riches. The Island of Riches is just this platform. You don't need to aim <laughs> for the rotating one. I think that one's just 300 rupees. You want to get to the top one that isn't rotating because that one has a piece of heart. Go 100 rupees. That rupee very much looks like forbidden candy. Yeah, but the cool thing is that because you made it to the top, all the other chests are available to open, too. Oh. As long as you land very carefully. Yeah, as long as you're careful. It's like one of those rotating quarter platforms you see at the register of fast food places, where you're like, you land on the bottom, you get a free french fry or some shit. I would be upset. Oh, neat. Oh boy, can't wait to share my chicken on Meverse. Huh. <laughs> I want to say that out of context in real life. Oh man, I can't wait to share my chicken on Meverse, you guys. <laughs> Ten bucks. Not a bad haul. Twenty well spent. Look at us. Yeah.
Hey, so that thing, I know you're not done cleaning the puke from before, but I need to use it again. You know, buddy, just for you, I'll uh, save you one rupee. I don't know why I said no. It's been a long time since I recorded this. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming for exploration purposes. Probably. There is some stuff you can do. Generally, most of the exploration and side stuff you want to save for the second half of the game, because that's when you have the most freedom of movement. I didn't want to waste an arrow. That is a side thing we'll be doing later. I just wanted to open it early. That fairy's gotta be dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're back here. No, 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 damn it. Thank you. Now, exiting here, this takes us to right by the bridge. So that's how we get back up. That's what that Kuko sign was referring to. It's so fun to mindlessly cut grass in this game. <laughs> Skeleton horses. Is that a horse? I think. It looks like a like a dog or a no. It looks like a boar. I think they're supposed to be stall horses. Okay. I wish they had tiny little riders on them so we could parallel <laughs> Midnight and Hamberry. Tiniest Skeleton Warriors theme song plays. What up? Sandwich away. Leaves it behind. <laughs> Sandwich away. I left it in the fridge too long. At a girl. <laughs> Let's bomb arrow this. Yeah, when you do that, it leaves a bunch of rupees on the ground. Oh, yeah, you are at max. Yep, gotta upgrade the wallet now. Hey hey Going down here, this is a side thing for the second half of the game. You see that rail along the side of the wall? Yeah. Remember it, Jacob. <sighs> <laughs> okay. This is me not noticing my wallet's full. <laughs> thought it was a principled thing where, like, you don't have to, but you want to. But I really hate littering. <laughs> Wouldn't want some homeless guy to find this 50 bucks. <laughs> Wouldn't want some homeless guy to choke on this 50 bucks. I don't want this guy <laughs> to get 50 bucks and then spend 20 of it on a chicken and throw himself off. A stag beetle. <laughs> Don't look at me like that, sandwich. <laughs> You're not bringing that aboard. Too bad, stag beetles are cool. So oh, wait. Stag Did beetles are cool! Stag beetle? <laughs> Thank God you found my lunch! Four, Jesus. 
<laughs> the number of death. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, let's go ahead and read them. Urgent notice. Your wallet is full. <laughs> hey, water bombs. I don't know if you want to send that through the mail. <laughs> if a government official finds that you're in trouble, son. <laughs> I mean, I have to say, though, the, these letters are very feel very true to real life. Urgent notice, and then you open it, and it's like, hey, do you want a credit card to this crappy place you've never heard of? Playground for grown-ups, huh? <laughs> it's fishing in a boat ride. Technically two boat rides. Because you can ride a boat while fishing. But can you ride a fish while boating? <laughs> well, if you catch one and you sit on it... <laughs> <laughs> then you'd feel really silly. <laughs> then you feel really at home. <laughs> Look at doing this. Oh, Tektites. I recognize those from the first Zelda. There's a breakable wall over here. And a bug. Oh! oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sandwich. I thought you were about to punish sandwich. It's gonna have an inevitable. <laughs> gotta stand my ground. <laughs> I gotta put on my bug catching boots. The female stag beetle. Now they can mate and have stag babies in my pocket. Almost, DA. That breakable wall is for a little cave that I can't do anything in right now, so I'll be coming back for that later. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <laughs> Hang on, <laughs> hang on, okay. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? I had dibs. <laughs> so, uh, you know those lawn darts? Don't look at them when you throw them. Didn't we say in, like, one of the first episodes that this was the ghost of the first Link or something? Yeah, like, it was implied, sort of, in the game, and then later on, I think it was in the Hyrule Astoria, or something that pretty much confirmed, yeah, this is Ocarina of Time Link. Ah, uh, got it. And in Straw Hat, no cannon, this is Groos. Yep. Groose the third. <laughs> Groose the Third, who interestingly enough is gonna teach you a Pizza Joe technique. But when you do it, actually hit them. You would hit him again by accident. <laughs> it's okay, I'm already dead. This is a really dumb question, but I'm gonna ask it anyway since it was brought up. Is in Hyrule Astoria, does it make any mention of Link's crossbow training? I think there's like a a brief mention. <laughs> like it's not it's not super important. It's implied to be what Link does after this game. Yeah, it's just kind of a yada yada thing, but like Hyrule Historia just literally has like timelines of all the major, the mainline games. Ooh. Ooh. This is a good place to just spend all my rupees. If you donate 2,000 to him, you get a heart piece. So you, yes, you do actually want to do this. 2,000. Well, I mean, we have 500. I just wish, uh, maybe add a hundred rupee option, or a yeah. here's all my money option. 
Sure, we could excuse that for the old generation, but this is an HD version. They could have just added that. Dude, they couldn't add that to Animal Crossing New Horizons. You think they put it in Twilight Princess? You're right, Nintendo lives in the future and in 1946 at the same time. I mean, if Breath of the Wild can show, at least someone knows how to design a game that's fun to play. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes Miyamoto's philosophy comes down to, yes, I want you to have fun, but not too much. Yeah, Nintendo games tend to come with, like, one caveat that keeps them from being perfect. And Breath of the Wild was the writing. <laughs> At least that was something I was okay with it taking a, a bit of a hit, even though, you know, lore is kind of a big thing for Zelda. But that's what Breath of the Wild 2 is for. I'm hoping it's actually Link's game in Breath of the Wild 2. <laughs> or if, if it's Zelda's story again, it like entirely hers, make her playable this time. Yes. Yeah, that'd be neat. You don't have an excuse anymore. <laughs> After Age of Calamity, no. Oh. Hmm? Ah! Hmm. Hey. Man, Heihachi's really changed since Tekken 7. <laughs> 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 I survived the volcano, Amory. <laughs> <laughs> now I look like this. Bitch. 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 <laughs> no, cat, don't eat the fish. Almost one of the more memorable characters from this game. The later right there. You get two guesses why. <laughs> I think it's because of her cool hair. His dreadlocks are quite nice. Her design is based on the Gyarado. Oh. The Gyarado aren't in the game, but them, the Sheikah, and I think one other race that isn't in the game is referenced in the design in different characters. Hmm. Well, <laughs> uh, me and the roast beef will uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question, but I don't know if it's a spoiler. I'll let you know if it is. Uh, it's about, it's about Ganondorf. I mean, everyone knows he's in the game, but like, is he not a Gerudo in this game? If it's Ganondorf, then he's a Gyarado. Oh, okay. So there's at least one. Sort of. Bless her heart, I called out Drumstick once and she responded, and so I've just been calling her that. <laughs> Give her your arms. Takes out a sword. Give her your arms. <laughs> It's okay, I got better. He has a name. I don't know what it is. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why 
What in the flying fuck name? <laughs> Ham, ha Jesus Christ, don't look at me anymore. With the updated textures, Telma leans even more on Canny Valley than some of the others. Like, it's so <laughs> close to realistic. I like that Ham Harry looks exhausted. <laughs> like, even when he entered the bar, it looked like he was there to get a drink. I appreciate it. <laughs> you tried, ma'am. <laughs> All right, escort mission. Oh, boy. This is way better than any temple. This one's not hard per se, but it can drag on. Yeah, it's not stinky. It's just, eh. There's a waft. <laughs> There's not even really anything to do in this first bit here. Just right up to the bridge. You did it, Ham Harry. You're a great bodyguard. I've been upgraded! <laughs> Ham, honey. So what's the trick with this one? Shoot him in the face. It's actually easier. No, no, don't follow him. Oh! oh. <laughs> it's a strong fucking boar. Just fucking got clobbered off. Don't. Okay. I wonder if you're able to hit him twice in one go, if you do it fast enough. I've never tried. Nope, he's blind. That sounded like a slowed down version of the stock bull sound effect. Not again, goddammit. Good thing you could teleport, whatever the hell that was. <laughs> I saw you get knocked off. It was great. Now we have to actually deal with enemies along the way. And I think I'm running low on arrows. You got six. Five. Sandwich. This area is, it's not too much of a problem, but you don't want the car to catch fire. Like that? Yeah, when that happens, we need to blow it out with the boomerang. If you're trying. I'm trying. I'll give you that. Eh, the girl will be fine. Eh, just have a cold soda, you'll be okay. Zoras are weak to fire, so thank you, camera. And we need to get up and actually open the gate. And then they continue on without us. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. What, Sandwich couldn't do it? Well, we want everyone to think Sandwich is a normal horse is a thing. If Sandwich just grows a third arm from her chest, you know, we're gonna have questions. And there go all my arrows. And this is the point where the enemies really pile on, and if the car catches fire, they go off the path and go in a circle, and they don't progress. But then also more enemies start spawning in, so this takes a while. Ow. Oh. Thankfully, it's very quick to put it out. Yeah, this part isn't hard, just tedious. Nice. Oh, wow, that one has a bomb.
Hey, Minda. <laughs> really bad time. <laughs> Look at the boars back there. <laughs> they could kind of turn into like a tube man for a second. There we go. Using the boomerang on the cargo rocks automatically makes the bomb explode. Have a meat shield. Oh, nice. Oh, <laughs> the boars ran into each other. That was great. Now it just ran into a cliff. These boars have no cognition of their own. Where did that rupee come from? <laughs> Ooh, a penny. <laughs> it was a tip from Telma. Hey now, I tip the waitress. You're fine. I'm not saying you don't have the right to scream, but sheesh. Oh, ow. Thanks for the arrow. It just is planned. Not you. <laughs> I think that he's not even fighting. He was just there. Oh, there's some arrows. And back to full. When the section's over. <laughs> Damn it. You're going to go back and hunt a ton of keys just because you can. Huh, I lost the staring contest. <laughs> ha, I lost. Fuck you. <laughs> ah, it's good to see you again, Triple H. Tonight, uh, my son, uh, slept well, uh. Thanks, crappy Colin. I mean, Colin. <laughs> An upgrade. Thanks, crappin. Oh. Did you say crapplin? Crappin. <laughs> okay. <laughs> crap. I thought you said like crapton. Like, he's a captain. Crapton crabs. Don't worry, she didn't have any of you to begin with. After all, she's beloved by... no one, really. She's beloved by one. Probably. Oh yeah, her father. <laughs> oh, and him. <laughs> I fight for myself. <laughs> Ike, I fight for my friends, Ham Harry. I fight for myself. <laughs> Link, <laughs> Ham, Harry, up, up. Hams, you say. <laughs> Hamilton, Harry, can we please just... <laughs> Hamilton Harold. <laughs> God! <laughs> She's looking right at you, dude. Rated T for teen. Rated T for uh, another word. 
for Corsair too. Yeah, T for Telma. That's my name. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if you were 30 years younger. <laughs> Time to... no, never mind. Oh, right, hi. <laughs> Did you get him? Or... What are you doing? Did, uh, your son is here. In death, everything is water. Hang on, priorities. Hang on. Oh. <laughs> nope, not gonna let me. Oh. See, look, piece of heart. You impressed? I had a heart once. Oh, are you really gonna be able to? No. No. You are trying. Balls. Are you gonna fucking come over here or not? I'll get it later. <laughs> puzzle, 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 <laughs> says Sam <Hamary. laughs> Oh, look at me, verse stamp for a corpse. I don't know, just 50 bucks. <laughs> she, she's just watching, covering her face. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> this is the guy that saved my son. She can whistle rocks away. What if I was the hero, but I couldn't fit through the hole? <laughs> then what? I'm just seven foot two and jacked. I can't. I can't <laughs> save the world. <laughs> I wonder if there's a. Because there's the predicted outfit and hair color and stuff for the Hero of Time. I wonder if there's a predicted height and weight. His first name was actually King. He married up. Hmm. <laughs> Which is a little weird, because in tradition, you give it to your spouse. I guess you've married my husband now. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, Zora Armor. This works differently from the Zora Armor in Ocarina of Time. In that one, it just let you breathe underwater. In this, it actually lets you swim. I'm guessing by swim, you mean like go under the water. Yeah. Okay. Like, actually swim as a mechanic. Right. Yeah, not like the one arm stroking that Ham Harry's been doing so far. Mm -hmm. All the time.
Let's try it on. Cool. We even get our own bizarre helmet. <laughs> I kind of like it. I have more of an appreciation for it now, but I remember when I got it when I was younger, I was like, this sucks cause because I wanted it to be blue, just like in Ocarina of Time, <laughs> just blue tunic. But now it's like, no, I get what they were doing. I actually like it. One cool detail, when you go underwater, Link pulls the mask up over the mouth. Oh. Which is, I guess, the implication of how you're able to breathe underwater. Hey, Ham Harry, buy something. This is a sniper scope. Oh. It's not specifically a sniper scope, but its only real use is as a sniper scope. Wear that along with the Zora armor, you just become a squid. <laughs> and Barnes said he had water bombs now, we definitely need those. It took me a second. I like the fish bomb. It's just like... <laughs> the fish bomb is actually based on a fish. That is literally a bomb that has a bomb in its mouth. And it is in the game, and you can catch them. How do they bite? <laughs> they don't. They just explode. Huh. So at least they were nice enough to implement this, but it's still kind of dumb that you just can't have more than one bomb type. Yeah. I pretty much always replace the regular bombs with water bombs, because even though you can only hold half as many in one bomb bag, they are far more versatile. Do they... so they work outside of the water too? They don't have to work in water? Right. Uh, is the halved capacity pretty much the only true downside? Pretty much. Oh, that's interesting. You can still attach them to your arrows. I don't know if you can use the bow underwater in general, but if you want to make bomb arrows, you can still do that on land. Hmm. Shame you couldn't have gotten that hard piece when Lady Zoro was around. No chance to impress her. I saved her son. I, she's impressed enough. Yeah, that's all she <laughs> needs, really. Go die now. I mean, pass. <laughs> this outfit looks really cool with the mask. Yeah. Like a fucking fish ninja? I need to design that. I have, like, mermaid OCs. I need to make a ninja mermaid. Oh, my God. I'm okay. A finja. <laughs> a finja. Ooh. Ooh, these ideas. A mermaid shinobi. Fishinobi. Finobi, okay. <laughs> oh, bug. It's ant. One of two ants in the world. <laughs> the second ant is kind of cleverly hidden. You need to come to one of these abandoned houses. I appreciate this. Weird. I don't like bugs, but I like ants. I don't know why. I think they're cute. Oh, look at that good little guy. I mean, I'm personally fine with insects that aren't infestation. Oh yeah, bees and ladybugs, yeah, do, do your thing. Um, those are, I mean, I'm afraid of bees because they go, they sting you. I know that you can just leave them alone, but there's still the possibility. Speaking of infestation. <laughs> By this point in the game, I sh actually, I should probably have switched over to the slingshot, because that's really the best use of it after the first couple dungeons. Say. Need to make back all that money I gave to charity. <laughs> you sounded so upset. <laughs> Bye. 
bomb the water. Oh, oh it doesn't work. Doesn't work. I mean, why don't the people handling the donations do a little donating themselves? Hmm? I volunteer 40 hours a week. The likely story. Are you really counting the whole time? <laughs> this just reminded me of Tamers, but are you laughing with me? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Now we're equipped to take on the Lake Bed Temple. And that little shortcut takes us right to Lake Hylia. Don't know why the Midna button amuses me. Not just because, like, her head's always there and she's kind of, she's kind of got, like, a nee kind of grin, but <laughs> she's also covering what actual button it is. Yeah. You can infer that it's the L button by the shape, but if you're like maybe newer to video games and you don't know, it's like, yeah, figure out the button, bitch. <laughs> How did you just press all of them at the same time? I might talk to you. Woo! Yeah, nice flip. First line for my new murder novel. Nice flip. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, that's the title. Nice flip, rated R. <laughs> it's about an evil underwater skateboarder. <laughs> Do you see the bubbles rising up? <laughs> there is only one underwater skateboarder in the world, so by default, he is evil. <laughs> <laughs> But he's also g good hearted, handsome, and ugly at the same time. <laughs> there and not there. <laughs> it says a lot, but it also says nothing at the same time. He is both the Jewish guy and the Catholic guy walking into the bar. <laughs> And he says to himself, this place isn't underwater. <laughs> and stick around to the end of the film to see the Mick twist. Not in the plot, it's a really cool trick. <laughs> I feel like an underwater Mick twist would be significantly easier than a re than a above water Mick twist. Then again, I haven't tried either, so. There we go. And don't worry about going back and buying more water bombs. The Lake Bed Temple is good about keeping your stock up. Good. <laughs> you must not enter. Oh, that really worked. <laughs> I have to go on, go on ahead. Oh, and this guy. <laughs> no. <laughs> like, behind himself at the explosion he just made, turns back. No. Expensive, but nice. I'd rather you have it than those greedy donation wanting people. <laughs> <laughs> Than those greedy poor. <laughs> the, the pores. 